Okay, here we go. We are rolling, and we are doing our second podcast, which is, in fact, our third um, actual Brain Trust episode. Uh, the second episode got lost into the sands of time years and years ago. Bad audio, bad video, and just it happened. You just have to believe us that it actually happened. But uh, the third episode, which is the second episode of our podcast, of our Brain Trust classic repeats, um, is very special because... Uh, not just because that it's our Saturday morning cartoon episode, but also it is our most viewed episode after after two solid years of doing this show. It is our most viewed episode on the YouTube channel, youtube.com slash brain trust show. So um, it has that distinction, which is very, very cool. Uh, we're just going to jump right into it here in about 20 seconds, uh, and we'll go over who the guests are and everything. But again, this is a great episode, and you really uh, do yourself a favor. watch, uh, Listen to this all the way to the end. Go back and watch it on the YouTube channel. It's going to be fantastic. So thanks for listening, and enjoy. Oh my god, we have three awesome contestants, you guys. Let's meet them. How about it? <laughs> to my comedy left is Aaron Sarlo, ladies and gentlemen. From the Dangerous Hello. Idiots. From the Dangerous Idiots and from the newly rebirthed like a phoenix. <laughs> Just like a phoenix. Just like a phoenix. That's Techno right. Squid eats Parliament. Yep. One of my favorite bands from the 90s. No shit. This is before I even knew you. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I'm just learning this now? Yeah. You're just now learning this. That's ridiculous. How that, long have I, I known you? Uh, for a while, That's but ridiculous. I've lived here since 94, and uh, yeah, you were guys You guys are one of the bands I followed oh. in the 90s here in town, so this is fantastic. But you're a great comedian in your own right as well. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> They don't, go, they don't call him the best color commentator in the business, folks, <laughs> for nothing. Uh, Aaron Sarlo, man of few words. Thanks for being here, buddy. Levi A.G. Hello, cutie pie. I'm going to let Arnold talk for me. Hello, cutie pie. <laughs> that works. Well, he was just announced as uh, the new replacement for Donald Trump. So, oh, really? for a Celebrity Apprentice, so uh, I need to give him his due. So, all right. What's up, bro? Uh, not much. What What is Arnold going to? What's going to be one of the one of the um, games on uh, Celebrity Apprentice that Arnold's going to be? It's like the fat, the first one to get to the chopper. How's that going to happen? Get to the chopper. Get to the chopper. There it is. <laughs> Put that cookie down! <laughs> yes. Oh boy. Uh, okay, Levi, what do you got going on nowadays, buddy? Um, where, where, where I, you, where I you quit. Doing? I quit my job. Yeah. Uh, I was doing uh, animation for a while and okay. uh, took a, a new job as a creative director at a smaller ad agency. Stopped uh, doing stand-up comedy. Did a year of that. And uh, got my feel of uh, um, redneck harassment in Little Rock and uh, decided um, to be more of an introverted writer who no one sees his work for a while and well, see how that goes. Well, I'm happy you came out of your cave for yeah, the this show is, tonight. This is my first official uh, public thing that I've done in probably six months, man. Holy so, crap. Way yeah. to go. Thank you so much yeah. for coming out to the show, buddy. Sure. One more thing. Before we move on, and I implore you, we haven't talked about this at all. This is kind of on the spot, but I want to do Mockingbird, Don't Scream. Yeah, again. I know. It's it's tough. Um, we got to think of the perfect movie to uh, harass and meringue on screen. We'll have uh, to... uh, our good friend Jason Thompson is coming back into Little Rock from Seattle very in very short order. And uh, uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, Levi, Jason Thompson, and I did... Was it two years ago or a year ago? Two or three years ago, yeah. Uh, we did a show called Mockingbird Don't Screen, which is basically a Mystery Science Theater 3000 kind of thing where we uh, riffed through 
I eat your flesh, I drink your yeah, blood. Yeah, exactly. Like this, like triple X, like NC seventeen movie or yeah. whatever. And didn't realize there's a couple kids in the audience. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's that's their fault. I man. mean, you should know from that title, I I drink your blood. You know. What did they think it was going to be puppets? Or yeah, something? it was like the new Teletubbies movie. Yeah. Crazy. <laughs> Well I, well, I really want us to do that Let's again. Let's do it. All right, really I'll commit. Is. I'll commit to saying maybe. Fair enough. I got witnesses. <laughs> That's the Levi guarantee right there. Yeah. I'll definitely maybe might think about it. That is Adam Hogg on the end, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Straight from the Argenta district on the <laughs> Hogging the Mic show. Yeah. Let's Tuesdays. talk about it. Uh, every Tuesday we have a comedy show up to... <laughs> Sometimes 45 comics, it feels like. Uh, minimum 12 uh, every Tuesday. Yeah, come come support comedy, yeah. Woo. I'm actually going to show up Redneck that. harassment, as yeah, Levi calls yeah. it. I'm actually going to show up and do more of that very soon, and that's me, me publicly too. saying that as well. I'm going to... If you guys... I know you love this show, but... <laughs> <laughs> but my stand-up is just... <laughs> So, yeah, we've seen you real soon out there, buddy. I look forward to it. Thank you for coming to this show. Thank you very much. All right. That's our contestants. Prize bag. Let's talk about the prize bag. The big prize bag of swag, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my goodness. What could these people possibly win? <laughs> oh, all right. First of all. We have. Uh, nice. uh, <laughs> nice. yeah. I want that. A one of a kind. One of a kind, you guys. For a good reason. Yes. <laughs> this is a not sold in stores prototype of a Bugs Bunny fitted baseball cap. And you can totally gangster. <laughs> oh my God. Lice included. <laughs> no extra charge. <laughs> um, from one of our uh, audience members, provided a, a, a uh, prize, and we're going to plug her stuff right now. Uh, and if you want to uh, order anything from her, look on the link, the doobly doo below, <laughs> and, uh, and click on her website. Uh, Angel Bear Puzzles and Toys. This is a handmade Aww, nice. Etsy inspired, I guess, uh, uh, Yosemite Sam plush toy, you guys. Dang. Also one of a kind. That is amazing. That's awesome. One of a kind prize there. Uh, Angela Bear, uh, you get her on Facebook.com slash Angel Bear Toys. And uh, just click on the link below, and it'll take you there. And uh, all of you should do that as well. What else? How about a Batman original soundtrack on vinyl? Wow. Is that the Joel Schumacher Batman? No, oh. this is the OG 89 Michael Keaton Batman. This is the Superman Man of Steel Platinum Series card set. The entire card set in little um, thingies. <laughs> the thingies may be a Way to jump in there, Lizzie, yeah. with that. The oh, I know the word you're looking for. Thingies. <laughs> That's right. Uh, what do we got else? We got this is a near mint to mint rated card from the original Star Trek, the motion picture. This is the Enterprise. It's in a protective case thing. It's from 1979. Vintage card here. It's very collectible. Yay. Now, when you say near mint... What are you referring to? I mean that uh, it's near mint because the back of the puzzle piece of the thing may be just barely faded a little bit. But other than that, all corners are not bent. It's not chafed or or uh, in whatever you fucking call it. <laughs> <laughs> now, Michael, when you were yeah. uh, walking with all this stuff outside in your bag, how did women not try and rape you? <laughs> 
because they see the wedding ah, ring, baby. The one thing that kept him away from that That's sweet right. ass prize bag. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> That's right. Uh, <laughs> mostly this stuff is vagina repellent. Yeah. But, but in this case, I think there's some ladies here that would love to go home with it. Maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, ladies. I got the stuff you want to go home with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I brought it. I brought okay, it. Uh, more stuff. Uh, a CD, kids. Music used to be on CDs. What? Uh, this is a Shades of Deep Purple, Deep Purple CD still in the cellophane. <laughs> yes, giving away some Deep Purple tonight. Hey, how about an OG video game? Vintage, original Xbox, Godfather video game. If you want to know, if you want to be the, the guy who puts the horse head in the bed, <laughs> you can do it in this game. If you want to be the guy that puts the gun behind the toilet, you have to do it in this game. All questions are answered in this game from The Godfather. Press X to sleep with the fishes. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> How about an action figure? How about an axe cop? Whoa! Doctor Doodoo action figure. That's awesome. <laughs> Includes a little Doodoo -doo soldier and sword. I think the vaginas are rethinking it after Doctor Doodoo. -doo. That's right. That's right. Oh! Wow. <laughs> I don't have to tell you what it is you can read. It's the Family Guy Clue game. I'm pretty sure Meg is the dead person every time. And if not, she should be. But the, this, is, uh, this is the Family Guy Collector's Edition uh, Clue game. Oh my lord, what else? That's the prize bag initially, but I'm sure our contestants have something for us. Aaron? Yeah, yeah, I brought stuff. I brought a lot of stuff here. <laughs> brought my own bag. Oh! That's it. That's it. <laughs> all right, well, in you, here. While you're going through that, I'm going to put all this stuff back in the. Do that. Is, in is, here. Is, is your inner so, child going to hang himself getting rid of all that? <laughs> no. Told to bring stuff to, like, you know, promote ourselves, blah, blah, blah. So we're going to start the bidding with. This, God, there's no bidding. This, this frame picture of me. There we go. Oh, there. Nice. Actually, See, that's my awesome. po my pope. Whoa. I have signed it, and it says, "Keep on poping." <laughs> then we got swag from all the different bands I'm in. Shirts, whatever. Blah blah blah. CDs. Blah blah blah. <laughs> One of the shirts I got is just like this. I'm in, I'm in a band called The Dangerous City, and so we got a song called If You Don't Smoke Pot, I Don't Trust You. <laughs> and so we got these stickers and a shirt that both say Dangerous City, it's Trust Me. <laughs> then got something from my other band, Duckstronaut. This is from our first show with Colin versus Adam. And Adam Hogg and I will sign it for you. Ooh. Did you know you were going to wow. Seven inches, including this one. I will take a second to show you. This is pretty killer. Whip out that big seven it, inch. Yeah. That's, <laughs> if I had a nickel for every time I was talking. <laughs> this folds out to be an actual playable board game, you will notice. What? On tour with a, with a rock and roll band, I believe is the theme. I also brought some basil from my garden because I wanted... Everyone, see the ladies? You see what they want? They want quality. They want to know that your, ba your bag smells good. It does smell. It smells so good. One well, other thing for the ladies from my garden, I also brought... Oh, very nice. All of your minds are in the gutter. This is a loofah. Let it dry out. Peel the skin, and there's a... Like a loofah, actual loofah like you'd buy in the store in there. And then, because I'm awesome, Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Whoa. Yeah. I love those. That's the big one. All that and more if I win or lose. <laughs> wow, that's fantastic. Aaron, way to go, buddy. You, you've outdone yourself. You may be the one person who's brought the most awesome <laughs> shit ever. <laughs>
But let's see what uh, Levi's got in no, store. No, I'm not going anywhere close to that. Okay. Um, so to reiterate again, my love of uh, Schwarzenegger, I've got Terminator 2. Oh. The best sequel ever. <laughs> Double disc uh, on DVD, not Blu-ray. There's a Terminator 2? Yep. <laughs> then this one's pretty cool. Uh, Reservoir Dogs. 15th anniversary edition in uh, Michael Madsen's uh, like gasoline can, which is pretty sweet. Unopened. Uh, yeah, you could actually fill this up with kerosene if you wanted to and burn, burn someone's ear off or whatever you wanted to do. Um, and then I've got do, 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 a uh, Evil Dead 2 wow. uh, DVD. Um, but here's the thing, and I don't know if I should admit this on U a YouTube or not, but okay. uh, back when I uh, worked at a, a blockbuster that is no longer existent, I copied a lot of movies. Uh, so <laughs> this, is a, <laughs> this is a bootleg. Um, and supposedly when you open this, it's supposed to scream, but the battery worn out. But... Uh, Still have a hell of a nice look. Still cool. Yeah. Um, and then a, another sort of bootleg. I have the Game of Thrones pilot uh, that I got when I worked for a newspaper in this kind of never before um, sold so like edition. A, yeah, it's an exclusive kind like of collector's a, thing. Like a screener copy. Yeah, right? screener copy. There's pr there's press materials in here that you don't get with the DVD and pretty cool artwork and stuff. Um, there's that. And then uh, something that I'm I'm really excited about uh, is this AV Club book called Inventory. Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't know if any of you have heard of this, but it's... Um, it's a little dated now. I think I got this like four years ago, but it's a 16 film. I think film. you got that at the library. You yeah, you can definitely it. get it at the library. 16 films featuring Manic Pixie Dream Girls, 16 oh. great songs nearly ruined by saxophone, <laughs> and 100 more obsessively specific pop culture lists. So a lot of cool nerdy stuff awesome, in here. Awesome, man. That's fantastic. You're next, buddy. What did you bring? Did you bring anything for the surprise bag, bud? I did. I did. Uh, let me see here. I'll start off with uh, a card game that's not available in this store. Wink, <laughs> wink, hint, hint. There's a store owner at. See me after the show. Uh, so a card game. Now, let's not no. gloss over this card game. You you made this card game, right? Correct. I didn't draw any of the drawings. But I just you created paid. it. Yes. Uh, yes, that is correct. He and, created uh, <laughs> this card game, you guys. Thank you, thank you. It's made in China, so I mean, it's legit. I mean, for real. Yeah. I actually tried to get it made in America, and they sent it to China. <laughs> I swear. So I got the thing back, and I was like, God damn it. Yeah, it's all good, though. Uh, so, yeah, card game. Cool. <laughs> This is a coupon for 10 free passes to stand-up comedy on any Tuesday that you want, ever. Wow. So $50 value. Just made money just now. Yeah. I can't make money, but I can save people money. Heck yeah, that's awesome. Free comedy shows, you guys. Uh, a, D, a VHS of a face-off. I'm sorry. Wrong package. <laughs> the old switch. I don't have a package. <laughs> No, and this is perfect because it's like this is John Travolta's face and this is Nicolas Cage. <laughs> That's true. This is actually a, this Jurassic Park is actually in Spanish. I don't know if you can tell, but my sister got me this for Christmas. She didn't know it was in Spanish. The whole damn thing's in Spanish. Like, who looks over that when they're buying a gift? Okay, I'll keep that, but you can have face off. <laughs> Face off on VHS. A ukulele. A uke! That I bought in Florida. That I've never used. Well, I've tried to use it, but it turns out I suck at it. So, okay. ukulele. Play a little bit. Oh, you don't want that. Uh, and a Converse Adam CD. So, yeah. this is a big one. Well, That's what I have. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is a hell of a prize bag. So I think we there, need yeah. to go take a break. You need to watch this commercial. And then we are going to draw from the Ninja Pig to see who our contestants are playing for tonight out of the crowd. So we'll be back right after this. Yeah, well, 
you know how it is when you're late, you have to be Lori. <laughs> and we're back! We've got our three contestants, we got our three audience members from the Ninja Pig. Uh, and uh, Aaron, who are you playing for, buddy? I am playing for Mark, my buddy Mark. Mark! Big hand for Mark. Levi. Um, it's hard to pronounce this. Uh, <laughs> I think it's Matt. Matt. And I've got my buddy Drew over here. Drew. Drew. Sit. All right. Everybody knows who they're playing for. Let's start this shooting match. You guys ready? Our theme tonight is Saturday morning cartoons. Yeah. <laughs> Hence the Yosemite Sam and the Bugs Bunny hat and a bunch of other stuff that didn't go with that theme. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're going to open up the show uh, with our first bidding round. It's like Price is Right. Just give me your uh, closest answer without going over. Uh, big shout out. I promised a Twitter shout out uh, on this episode. The big Twitter shout out this time around is at Yabba Dabba Dude. Everybody needs to follow Yabba Dabba Dude. <laughs> Yabba Dabba Dude, he is Dan Meacham. He's the son of the CEO that owned Hanna-Barbera for 25 years during its heyday, and now he runs Meacham Media Studios, and they are going to be cranking out new animated cartoons, as opposed to live-action cartoons, I guess. <laughs> uh, they're going to be cranking out new cartoons, uh, and uh, hopefully they're going to become in 20, 30 years, just as classic as uh, the Hanna-Barbera cartoons that his father oversaw. Uh, how many followers does at Yabba Dabba Dude have? Closest without going over, Aaron. 12,000. Okay. Levi? Mm, I'm gonna say 6,500. All right. And Adam Hogg. I'm going to say 30,000. 30,000. What did you say? 12,000. What did you say? 6,500. What did you say? 30,000. The winner is Adam Hogg. His actual number of followers is 61,054. Oh. It would have been. I knew it. I knew it was 61. I, I just I, lowballed it. I, uh,. <laughs> it would have been 53, but but I I followed him. <laughs> so, uh, Adam, you get to pick our first All set right. of categories in the first round. Our categories are crazy songs, crazy critters, or crazy. I forgot. Spooks. Let's go with crazy critters. Crazy critters. What? It's on page three. I got to do this better. <laughs> okay, Crazy Critters. This is uh, this are questions about uh, Disney TV cartoons. The Disney TV cartoons wheelhouse. All right. Uh, here's the first question. Hands. Get ready on your buzzers. You're ready to go. <clears throat> number number one in Disney's Ducktales. Launchpad McQuack was created to replace this Disney icon who was originally intended to be in the series, but the creators thought he'd steal focus away from Scrooge McDuck and would... Levi. Donald Duck. That is correct. Donald Duck is the answer. I almost said Darkwing Duck. I don't know why. As soon as you said iconic, I was like, no, he's not iconic. <laughs> All right. Uh, question number two. It, this was Disney's first animated drama series, and it's the only Disney, Disney animated property to feature nearly all of the main characters being killed in one form or another. And weirdly, one of you mentioned it earlier. Repeat the question again. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Disney's first animated drama series, the only Disney animated property to feature nearly all of their main characters being killed in one form or another. What were we talking about earlier? <laughs> <laughs> we mentioned Bojack Horseman. Is it Bojack Horseman? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, I don't think any of them it, are dead, it, but... It isn't. 
I know, I know everyone died in Pocahontas in real life. <laughs> That's true. I just don't remember if they filmed it. <laughs> Animated it. Oh, yeah. Animated. If it was rotoscoped. <laughs> mm. Disney drama. So how about a hint? Oh, wait, no. Okay, no. Yeah. <laughs> I have no clue. Another? Stump, that stumped the band? Maybe. You stumped more than one band. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's like six There's bands like 40 different here. bands up there. <laughs> I know. Does anybody in the audience know the answer? Gargoyle. That is correct. Oh. oh. Yeah, me and Matt were talking about it. They died? Yeah. Spoiler alert. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm not going to get to watch Gargoyles. Oh, no. You can still watch it. No, yeah. Well, sure, I could. You don't know how they died. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So many suicides. Yeah. <laughs> They all fell off the edge of the, yeah. the building. They're all perched. <laughs> right. I mean, rust maybe, limestone deposits. All right. All right, number three. This was the first Disney television cartoon to be a goofy sitcom rather than an action-adventure cartoon. Do you have any questions, Don, about Disney? Yeah, a bunch. <laughs> you know. But this whole section's about the Disney yeah, TV cartoons. Right. Hmm. Repeat the question. Sure. <laughs> this was the first Disney television cartoon to be a goofy sitcom rather than an action adventure cartoon. Go ahead. Is it Goof Troop? It is Goof Troop. Damn. True, I got you, buddy. I got you. Question number four. This DuckTales spinoff show's main character was inspired by the old pulp series, The Shadow. Darkwing Duck. That is correct. That's a game. Chronologically, this Disney cartoon takes or took place after the events of Return from Jafar. Aladdin the Animated Series? Correct. Yeah. <laughs> AKA pre 9 11. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Most of us. That's how I divide my Disney cartoons. <laughs> Conversely, uh, this entire Undersea Disney series takes place before the events of the movie. What is it? Hmm. The audience is squirming. I know. I, I hope it's not the obvious. Yeah. I don't think this is Disney, but SpongeBob SquarePants. No. <laughs> okay. Had to go for it. Adam. Aaron. The Little oh, Mermaid. Again. Stop right there. <laughs> Good. Hey, The Little Mermaid. <laughs> what were you going to say? I was going to wait until someone's face said ah, something, and then I was like, <laughs> Sebastian's <that>. affair. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> this was the number one rated series 25 years ago, and the two main characters' designs were based on Indiana Jones. Chip and Dale, Rescue Rangers. That is correct. Tom Selleck and Harrison Ford. That's right. Tom Selleck, who would have been uh, Indiana, Jones. Indiana Jones. Yeah, were he not doing Magnum P.I.? Shave that mustache. Yep. <laughs> uh, and the last question of this section, this was the first Saturday morning cartoon series produced by Walt Disney Productions. It featured characters named <clears throat> Grammy Gummy, Cubby Gummy. Gummy Bears. Gummy Bears is right. Oh, my goodness. Uh, do the rest of the names because that that was a chill of nostalgia. Sure. <laughs> Grammy Gummy. Cubby. Hold on, hold on. Does anybody else out here know some other characters? Of the Gummy Bears. I don't Tubby, the Gummies. Tubby? Don't Tummy Gummy. Tummy Gummy. Yeah. Cubby Gummy, Tummy Gummy, Sunny Gummy, and Gruffy Gummy. What about a uh, Cummy Gummy? <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> <laughs> God, he had you name all that just so he could say that. Right? <laughs> that's right. That's right. You were set up. No, I thought you were set up. I thought that was an actual character. <laughs> the white one. I think that's. <laughs> I think it was in the hentai series. Wasn't yeah. it? <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> it's going to get worse from here on out because I know my parents aren't going to watch any more than two minutes of this. <laughs> Yeah, they're going to check out after the Walking uh, Walking Dead commercial. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, that was, our, that was our first section of the first round, you guys. <laughs> Levi with a commanding lead so far with five points. I watched a lot of TV. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what, you know, you quit comedy and you're sitting around watching TV. That's it. It's the uh, Aaron and uh, Adam. Both with a point each, right. you're still in it. Yeah, you're, you're, yeah it was a lot of game to go, you guys. Okay, uh, second bidding round, you guys, is it to pick for the uh, second set of questions in the first round. Movie money. This is uh, the highest grossing movie. Based on a cartoon is Transformers Dark of the Moon. Dark Side of the Moon. Is it? No, it's, no. Dark, it's dark of the moon. It's, it's dark really called moon. dark of the they moon. Couldn't get the, they the couldn't moon. get the rights for dark side of the moon. Yeah. Because oh, those pink, dicks and pink, pink Floyd, Floyd have got that shit. Ruin it for all these brainless people liking Transformers movies. You're right. That's exactly right. Dark of the moon. How much money <laughs> did Transformers Dark of the Moon make? Aaron Sarla. <laughs> Is who cares? And uh, Can I say that? <laughs> Sure. All right, we're going to do who cares slash $180 million. Okay. <laughs> Got to be close to $480 million. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Cog? <laughs> $160 million. <laughs> One I million. Got, I think you got how, how it. Aaron, how much did you say? 180 180 You said, oh, you said 480 You should have said 181 you, you, you said 160. But I wanted to be fair. I said 160. You said 160. And, and I was like in the 400s. 480, yeah. 400 million? Yeah. Okay. Levi wins. <laughs> the actual amount of money that Transformers Dark of, of the Moon, the moon. <laughs> made was one billion no twenty three million seven hundred ninety four thousand stop watching those movies people they're crap how much did avatar make actually don't you have better things to spend your money on the mark Wahlberg one is kind of okay no, no said no one ever i know <laughs> <laughs> I think when when people were referring to penises on film, someone has said that. <laughs> well, Levi, you get to pick. Uh, the last I two. will take Mark Wahlberg's penis for <laughs> two hundred. If I could give you Mark Wahlberg's penis for two hundred, <laughs> I would do it. Yeah, it's worth way more than that. <laughs> but we're down to crazy songs and crazy spooks. So okay, I'm a, I'm gonna. Um, Lend the hand out to my musician friends and go with crazy songs. Crazy songs. And, and they're all Gnarls Barkley related. <laughs> <laughs> crazy songs is Looney Tunes. Oh, oh, sorry. All right. All right. <laughs> I thought, right. thought it would be a musical you thing. You son of a bitch. It is. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's some musical questions in here. Sure. Um, question number one. What was Elmer Fudd's original name? I'm gonna give <laughs> <laughs> one of the one of the, one of the audience members said horrible fathers. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty funny. Uh, I'm gonna give you choices. Okay. Oh, thank because God. Because you look fucking stumped. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is our only multiple choice. Is it Jedediah? It is not. Okay. <laughs> save me a buzz. Yeah, save you a buzz. Uh, keep your buzz, <laughs> please. So I'm sorry. This is about Sunday morning cartoons we're doing. <laughs> Saturday morning cartoons. Is that why? That's why none of these are about Jesus. I get it. <laughs> no, I get, exactly it I get it now. I get it now. I get it. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm on board. I'm on board now. Oh, good. I'm caught up. Great. <laughs> <laughs> this is our only multiple choice uh, uh, situation here. Uh, was it A, Egghead, B, Baldy, C, Cue Ball, or D, Shorty? We're going with Baldy. That is incorrect. Damn it. Continue. Go. Did you say shoe ball? <laughs> That's what you said? What was the third C? I, I said cue ball. Cue ball. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll go with cue ball. No, it's Damn. not. 
All right, it's a 50-50 chance there, Levi. It's either Egghead or Shorty. What is it? Uh, I'm going to have to go with Egghead. That is correct. Okay. Egghead was Elmer's original name. If he was African-American, I would have said Shorty. But uh... <laughs> Matt, why don't you go ahead and pull your car around? We'll load the stuff into your car <laughs> right now. We'll go ahead and... <laughs> All right, number two, what, uh, here's your musical question. <laughs> what is the name of the opera from which the Killed the Wabbit aria originated? Oh my God. Is it The Ring? <laughs> right of the Val I mean, I meant Ride of the Valkyries. I meant The Ring. The Wagner. Ring, the Ring of. Oh God. The. Yeah. The Ring, the ring of. Uh, no. <laughs> there's not an of anything. Come on, no. There's the ring of the Lord. No. <laughs> of the rings. No. The, ri <laughs> the ring of I don't know. You're so fucking close. The ring of Valhalla. Valhalla. Don't help. Wait, is it? Did I get it? Did, did he get it? For no. Me? Is that, God damn that it. Was wrong. I wouldn't have known that at all. So. The Wagner wrote. He wrote. He wrote this. It's called he the Ring. Did. It is the <laughs> Ring. And they were like, they were like, Wagner, how about more? And he's like, no. <laughs> it's called the Ring. <laughs> now that's coming from Wagner. <laughs> so I'm not sure if you know more than he did. I'm, you know, maybe you do. Maybe you do. Audience. <laughs> that's right. Ring of the name along. There you go. <laughs> what? Come on. That's you made that word up <laughs> right now. <laughs> It's not, it's not accurate. That's not accurate. I didn't even get a chance to give you all the answers. So remember, this is multiple choice. So I'm going to say the answer. Uh, but if you buzz in, I'm going to make you answer it. Oh, the whole that round, seem, the whole round is multiple choice? No, just, well, just this section. Oh, okay. Just since we didn't know anything. Yeah. And they're it. like, hey, we got to read all these options to these three idiots. Life raft. Yeah, I get it. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Audience has two points so far. <laughs> Which is one more than Aaron and Adam. <laughs> We're neck and neck. If the audience wins, do we get to keep the prizes we just, we just gave? I hope that never happens. Okay, <laughs> okay let's, go, let's go easy then. Uh, what was the name of Sylvester the Cat's son? Was it uh -huh, A, Jack, B, Cecil, C, Chuck, or D, Sylvester Jr.? Aaron. Sylvester Jr. Correct! Hey! hey. <laughs> Although Cecil's a better name. It is. It's a better name. <laughs> I really thought it was Cecil for a half a second, and then I remembered him, but it was always calling him Junior. You guys remember? <laughs> Audience knows. <laughs> Number four. Why was Yosemite Sam originally created? A, as a caricature of one of the animators. B, because it was considered too easy for Bugs Bunny to <coughs> outsmart Elmer Fudd. Or C, uh, the request of the viewers who wanted to see a more violent character. Or D, as an insulting caricature of one of the producers. I, let's go with D. I went with D, too. Oh, I wish it was. It was not right, though. All right. <laughs> Do you want me to repeat the um, options? I'm going to go with C, but repeat them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, as a caricature of one of the animators, uh, or B, because it was considered too easy for Bugs Bunny to outsmart Elmer Fudd, <laughs> or C, at the request of the hmm. viewers who wanted to see a more violent character. I'm going to go with C. That's wrong. <laughs> No, it's not. Levi. <laughs> Just like how I answer like SAT questions, because yeah. there's two similar, I'm going to go with A. That is also incorrect. It was Mother. because it was considered too easy huh. for Bugs to beat Elmer Fudd. And, uh, Elmer so was, some, but he has guns, too. I mean, uh, <laughs> But he doesn't have a big-ass mustache. Uh, uh. Wait, so the mustache makes him smarter than Elmer Fudd? <laughs> Are you saying Yosemite Sam is supposed to be smarter than Elmer Fudd? I'm not saying that. That's what you just said that. Warner, <laughs> Warner Brothers is saying that. His oh. main vocabulary is consarnet. Yeah. But you know, Yosemite Sam really didn't have a speech impediment. 
That's he's like, true. He's Very one true. of the only Looney Tunes characters that didn't have a really pronounced speech impediment. Hmm. And I think that's weird because he's all Southern and shit. <laughs> <laughs> because no one outside of the cell thinks that that's a speech impediment. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all talk funny down there, you all That's right. <laughs> oh, I hate learning. I, you, I haven't seen I haven't seen Elmer Fudd Elmer, Elmer Fudd on a mud flap. <laughs> <laughs> Saying back off. I don't see that. Now Elmer Fudd was uh, to make fun of one of the uh, one of the producers, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Number five. What is the name of the big hairy orange monster with sneakers who appears in a few of the cartoons? Oh, shit. Am I supposed to know this? Oh, you, it's a multiple choice. Do you, sorry. do you want the answers or do you want to answer right now? I thought it was Samson, but I'm, I don't think it is. All right. Is it A, Snafu, B, Gossamer, C, Chester, or D, Jacques? Gossamer. Gossamer is correct. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I guessed it right. Is he beating the audience yet? I think we're tied. It tied with the audience. <laughs> and I had help on that one, secretly. I don't want to... <laughs> you nodded. <laughs> Which of these characters has Mel Blanc never voiced? Mm. Damn. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> A, Pepe Le Pew. B, the Tasmanian Devil. C, Granny. Or D, Marvin the Martian. Go. Tasmanian Devil. That is incorrect. Ah, damn. Mr. Sharla. Granny. Correct. Oh. Was he sexist? Come on. <laughs> How many Looney Tunes shorts have won Academy Awards? Yeah. Oh, the crowd loves the Looney Tunes. <laughs> Is it A, none, B, one, C, five, or D, seven? Ooh. Go ahead, Aaron. Judges. I'm going to go with none. That is incorrect. Okay. One. That is also incorrect. Damn. Seven. That is incorrect, too. It was five. Huh. The audience is beating me, damn it, Levi. Uh, well, the audience, I don't think the audience knew that one. But, uh, but yeah, they won, they won five Academy Awards. For Do you know the names of them? I really don't. Okay. <laughs> cool little factoid. The Barber of Seville. That's gotta be, it's got to be that one. I think it was one it's of them. It's got to be one of them. Yeah. That's a classic. Yeah. And last one, thank God, of uh, this section... <laughs> Subtitles appear at the beginning of each Roadrunner cartoon in a fake version of what language? A. Greek, B. Latin, C. French, or D. Spanish? Latin. Latin is correct. All right. Let's go ahead and close out our first round with uh, Crazy Spooks, the last of our questions. In the first round, Crazy Spooks is Scooby-Doo Trivia. Woo! Right? No multiple choices on this one, you guys. Oh. Just, yeah. No, the training wheels are off. Is this Scooby-Doo the movie? No. Damn. <laughs> Freddie Prince Jr. <laughs> <laughs> Best shaggy ever. First question in uh, the Scooby-Doo Trivia section. What is Scooby-Doo's real name? Scooby-Doo is a nickname. Is it Scofford? Scofford? Close, uh, but no. Scofford? <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Self-contained underwater breathing apparatus. <laughs> Do. That's it. That's it. <laughs> I wish that were the case. I'm I really do. What else would you name a Great Dane other than that? You got it? Hell no. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Audience, do you know it? Scoobert. Scoobert is uh, correct. Scooby, Scoobert. Scoffer. Scoffer. Jesus. <laughs> That's the uh, British version. Yeah. 
and down Nabby. <laughs> Scoffer, do they're up to their old tricks again? What's your name, Alan? What's it short for? Albert. <laughs> <Okay>. Alfred. <laughs> <laughs> what year did the original Scooby Doo first episode come? 1960. Go ahead and finish what you were saying. <laughs> this is back then. <laughs> <laughs> what year did the original Scooby Doo first episode air? 1969. That is correct. Damn! <laughs> brain fart. You got to change it to brain fart instead of brain trust. <laughs> Well, they're trusting your brain. I can't help if your you're brain You're trusting farts. a fart. Yeah. I've been farting a lot up here. I'm sorry. I wasn't going to say anything. The nerves. It's all nerves. <laughs> what was the name of the van? Oh, Levi. Mystery Machine. That is correct. <laughs> Who bought the van? Oh. <laughs> Gotta be Fred, right? No. That's ridiculous. He wore the ascot. Shaggy? No. Uh, Scooby? Rich. No. <laughs> Rich girl, Daphne. Uh, Velma? No. Who's left? Daphne. The, Daphne. Do the, dog. Right. the dog's left, right? I I Scoobert? <laughs> Technically, it was Daphne's dad, but it was uh, Daphne's dad who bought the <laughs> van. Did she don't have no know job. That? Yeah, I had to look that shit up. You knew it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fuck the one percent. <laughs> Daphne's well, Daphne's like she's not in the life. Yeah, the but 1%. she wears like designer clothes and stuff. Well, yeah, that's true. Uh, you guys have already said this, but what type of dog is Scooby Doo? Aaron. Great Dane. Correct. Yeah, no, he's a Great Dane. That's true. He was a cartoon. That's true. Don't give it to him. He was a cartoon. He's a good Dane. Uh, yeah, he's an okay Dane. Not a Great Dane. All things considered, yeah. He's all right. He's all right, yeah. <laughs> Very anxious Dane. <laughs> like Macbeth. <laughs> Hamlet. Very good. Hamlet, shit. Very good. It was Hamlet, Hamlet but I knew what you meant. Yeah. That's yeah. great. I was looking for that. That's great. Yeah. That's Had great. a brain fart. Scott Trick. <laughs> <laughs> Macbeth was Scottish, but yeah, because okay. of the, the Mac, that mm -hmm. gave it yeah, away. Huge it giveaway. Yeah. Um, where does Shaggy live? <laughs> Go in the van. No. A lot of people think it's in the van. It's not in the van. Wait, none of them live anywhere but that van. <laughs> <laughs> it's mentioned in one of the episodes where he lives. I can't. Go any more than that. Somalia. <laughs> <laughs> He's from Somalia. He's no, no. T Trump Tower. No. <laughs> Iowa. Huh? Iowa. Iowa. No. Lower East Side Iowa. Be more specific. The upper or Lower East Side <laughs> Iowa. <laughs> Benton. <laughs> it's Benton. Let's Does move on. Does anyone in the audience know the answer? Coolsville? Go ahead. That is correct. In wow. his parents' basement. Oh. Hey, what did y'all say? Coolsville? Like y'all knew it? <laughs> <laughs> you know, Coolsville. <laughs> Coolsville. Oh, his wait. His, oh, his, I live there. His Somali parents' basement? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have no, I have no can idea. I where can I point the out? Is. Can I point out? They're from Somalia. <laughs> but they may live in Iowa. It's also true. All right, whatever. Okay. <laughs> I see how it is. Fine. Who, who is the oldest? I'm the captain now. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm the captain now, Scoop. <laughs> <laughs> like, Zoinks. Sure, 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 man, sure. It's my best, best Tom Hanks. <laughs> Jenny. <laughs> <laughs> Who is the oldest member of Mystery Inc.? Fred? No. <laughs> Go. Velma got some old ass titties. So. <laughs> 
I'm just hey, excuse me, sir. Velma's titties don't quit. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm saying they're healthy. Are we going by human years or dog years? I'm going by human years. No. <laughs> well, no, th th those Straight are both point. wrong. No, they're both wrong. Well, then I'll just throw out there. Uh, who didn't we say already? Uh, Shaggy. Shaggy is correct. <laughs> hey, all right. <laughs> he had the facial hair, so that signified he was the only maturity. Yeah, yeah, maturity. Yeah, yeah. The, the little chin rascal going right. on. <laughs> chin rascal. Take a ride on my chin rascal. <laughs> Awful. Why did I just think those words? It's something I, it, that's actually something I overheard at a uh, retirement home not too long back. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> I want that shirt so bad. I would wear that everywhere. Aaron, this is a funeral. Yeah. What? <laughs> I know. We're looking at, we're looking at expanding into doing merchandise. We may have to do a, <laughs> well, take a ride on my chin rascal. Trademarked. <laughs> Aaron <Sarlo. laughs> <laughs> Last question in Crazy Spooks. When Casey, when Casey Kasem started voicing Shaggy in 1970, his demand was that Shaggy match his own, his own strict lifestyle. What was it? <laughs> Levi. Alzheimer's? <laughs> <laughs> Because Alzheimer's is a lifestyle choice. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, I know what it is. Go. I think vegetarianism, right? That's right. That's wow. right. That's absolutely right. That's more a PC answer. Yeah. It's a little bit more politically yeah. correct. Yeah. This is actually a really this was actually a really huge bone of contention with Casey Kasem and Shaggy voicing Shaggy. Uh, there was a couple of episodes where uh, Shaggy and Scooby like found this big banquet table full of food and everything, and they started piling on and making a big ass, you know, sandwich. And that's the international symbol for big ass sandwich, by the way. Sure it's not a chin rascal. <laughs> that's this. <laughs> <laughs> but um, it looked like they were putting bologna or something on the sandwich and Casey Kasem shit kittens when he saw the cartoon <laughs> and he quit he, he completely quit doing the voice of Shaggy for years until they brought him back for some of the Scooby Doo movies in the early thousandsies <laughs> and uh, they made sure that uh, Shaggy was a vegetarian in fact Matthew Lillard who played Shaggy in the movies it pl implicitly states that he's a vegetarian. Uh, so, and this is, of course, before Casey Kasem died. So, the Casey Kasem estate was very happy with the whole Shaggy situation. Now that we know Shaggy is a vegetarian, and that's a little bit of fucking trivia to take home with you. <laughs> When you guys can't remember your password to log into some account, it's because that piece of information pushed that out. <laughs> Push that. So you're welcome. That's the end of the first round, you guys. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Tallying up the scores from the first round looks like, uh, oh my God. Uh, Aaron, you've got, Oh, you 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 answered that last one, so that's uh, one, don't forget two. Sylvester Jr. Yeah, no, <laughs> that was my high, that was my shining moment. So I far. got it. Aaron, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, wow. seven points. Oh. Yeah, Woo. pile of swag coming at you, coming right at you. <laughs> Levi has one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven points. Whoa! Oh, I knew, it was, I knew it was going to be a close game, you guys. Adam Hogg has three points. Yeah. Those questions were double, though, so you remember? Yeah, I got you. <laughs> okay. We are going to take a little break once again. We're going to go into round two and then barrel straight into round three right after this. Woo! 
Brain Trust with Michael Brown is the comedy, pop culture, geek centric trivia game show you've been waiting for. Brain Trust is perfect for your comic book, sci fi, fantasy, horror, or gaming convention. Each show is recorded in front of a live audience where comedians, entertainers, authors, and media personalities are the contestants playing for randomly selected members of the audience. They play, you win. For booking information, email Braintrustshow at gmail.com. That's Braintrustshow at gmail.com. We are okay. It's exciting. We are back for the second and third rounds. We're going to close out the show. Uh, scores, if you recall, once again, Aaron with seven points, Levi with seven points, Adam with uh, three points. But don't worry, Adam. I'm sure you're going to catch up. Uh, second round's a little different than we did uh, last time. Is that a time. short joke? <laughs> no, man. <laughs> Not at all. No, no, I wouldn't do that to you. <laughs> second round's a little different uh, than you guys have seen before. Uh, the way we do second rounds now, there's a question, and then whoever gets that question right, they will have an immediate follow-up question. Only they can answer the follow-up question. Unless they get it wrong, then it's opened up to the other two. So potentially, one person can get two points per question, and here we go. Uh, we got to do a bidding round to see who can pick, who's going to pick uh, the uh, category. And uh, our last bidding round is how much for this? <laughs> a Scooby-Doo animation cell featuring all of Mystery Ink Gang from the episode Werewolf, Their Wolf. <laughs> Damn. Signed by Bill Hanna and Joe Barbera on eBay as of 48 hours ago cost how much? $78,000. I do not know the answer to this question. Nobody does. Yep. Well, I mean, some of the eBay people do. Uh, yeah. They probably. Levi. $125. Okay. <laughs> you threw me way off. I was about to go way high. <laughs> now I'm going to go with... Um, what did you say? 78 thou. 100,000. 100,000. The actual eBay price... <laughs> For the Scooby-Doo animation fe cell featuring everybody from the Werewolf, Their Wolf episode, signed by Bill Hanna and Joe Barbera, is going for $2,850. Adam Hogg is the winner of the round. Do I get a point? No. Jesus. <laughs> you don't get four a, points. You don't get a point. You get the honor of picking, the privilege, really, yeah, of you. picking which category you will answer the questions first and the, the categories are kick them in the side or cartoon cash grab I guess I gotta go with cartoon cash grab cartoon cash grab is the uh, category the category is these are animated Saturday morning cartoons from comedians uh, oh. shit Question number one. Bobby's World was created from what comedian's act? Howie Mandel. Howie Mandel Damn is it. correct. You always wonder why Bobby would never shake anyone's hands. <laughs> it's weird that way. I thought it was like a stranger danger thing, but it was... <laughs> okay, Levi, you and only you get the follow-up question unless you get it wrong or you can't answer it. And uh. here we go. Originally titled The World According to Bobby, this series was intended to, this Bobby's World, was intended to parody what Robin Williams film? The World According to Garp. That is correct. And that's how that works. <laughs> question? Follow-up question. Here's question number two. Between allegedly drugging and raping enough women to fill a city bus, Bill Cosby created a cartoon about a morbidly obese kid and his friends who hung around a junkyard in Philly. What was the cartoon? Boy, that was close. That was really close. Audience, who got it first? I think it was Adam. Yes. Fat Albert. Fat Albert is correct. Thank you, Aaron. <laughs> 
tepid. <laughs> tepid. <laughs> Response from the audience. Morbidly obese Albert. Yeah. <laughs> Here's Adam's follow-up question. Uh, you have to name at least two of the Cosby kids. <clears throat> Albert. Not, not County Fat Albert. Oh, okay. Bugsy. <laughs> Is that one? And what else? Mugsy. <laughs> they all run. Both of those are wrong. Okay, <laughs> Levi. Theo and Rudy. <laughs> Actually, that's wrong. Lisa Bonet. <laughs> oh. Wrong show. This, I'm not talking about the Huxtables. <laughs> I'm talking about the, the quote-unquote Cosby kids oh. from the Fat Albert cartoon. Uh, Mushmouth. Okay. And... God, this is going to sound racist. <laughs> so I'm not going to say it. <laughs> I was going to say rerun, but that's a totally different show. What's happening? That's rerun. Oh, Am man. I right? yeah. Dude. We have a mixed race audience tonight. I know. I need... And every night. How's that racist? I didn't watch I, I, that. This, is a, this appeals to everyone. You understand? Don't. don't this... Yeah. Yeah. No. I'm, uh, I'm working on Sarlo, that racism. Can you, can you name two of the Cosby kids from Fat Albert? Holy can, shit. Can I, can, you? can I describe them to you? No. <laughs> I want names. All right, there was the guy with the thing over his face, but just his eyes showed. Yeah. We'll call him Facey. Okay. That's all right. That and was there was the short one, and his name was Freckles. <laughs> it was Freckles. Freckles and Facey. All right, so that's two points. <laughs> yeah. Ke Ke Kevin Facey. Yeah, yeah. His street name was just Facey, though. Yeah, yeah it was short. Kevin yeah. is not really a... Weirdly, thing. weirdly, Adam, you named actually one, and Levi, you named one, but both of you didn't name them together. <laughs> is it, what? Is it Muggsy? Uh, is that the guy with the thing over his face? No. Damn. Is it Muggsy and Lisa Bonet? No. <laughs> it is, isn't it? <laughs> I, actually, no, I'm sorry. It was Levi that, that, that named both, but he didn't do it in the right way. Um, <laughs> Mushmouth was one. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. You guys remember Mushmouth. <laughs> Dumb Donald. Oh, uh, yeah. William Cosby uh. was one. And his little brother, Russell Cosby, was one. Okay, I'm right, not expected yeah. to know Russell Cosby. <laughs> William, I can understand that. Weird Harold. Weird Harold, okay, yeah. Rudy. Oh, oh Rudy. So how do I not get that? Oh. I, Rudy was the was the one guy. Yeah, I remember that guy. No, I remember. No, I'm not. Sounds dumb, but I actually remember Rudy. And the audience, do you guys know the one I'm missing? Uh, which one? Bucky. 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 Damn. It's all right. <clears throat> what Nick say we've been missing? Who them? cares? A rapist made that show. I addressed that in the question. I know. <laughs> Who's the one that said Fat Albert? Oh, it was, uh, it was Adam. Yeah, Adam. Okay. Yeah, give me the point. I'm giving you the point, brother. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Okay, third question. Life with Louis was based on this. This. Go ahead. Louis Anderson. Louis Anderson is correct. I was gonna say Louis C.K. <laughs> yeah. I was like, what's this HBO show called? Lucky Louis. Yeah. Right. <laughs> it's just him ha saying he's got shitty kids over and over. <laughs> Mom, I'm going to eat ice cream. I hate my shitty kids. Sounds like a pretty good cartoon to me. Yeah, it kind of does. <laughs> uh, Levi, you get the follow-up question. Even though Louis Anderson grew up in Minnesota, what state does the cartoon, does his little cartoon self live in? Hmm. I, North Dakota? Ooh, great guess, but wrong. Okay. Anybody else? Don't so you know? You said Minnesota. Not Minnesota. And then he and then he grew up in Minnesota, but his cartoon no, was set in what? Go ahead. Is it Maine? No. Damn. I'm just thinking about what's near North Dakota and Minnesota. Wisconsin? That is correct. Damn. Hey. Geography for the win. Geography. <laughs> 
Roseanne Barr, when she had the number one show on ABC, had a cartoon that lasted one season. What was it called? Unfuckable. <laughs> Did I get it? I got it. Pretty sure that was Louis Anderson's, too. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. I have a follow-up question coming to me. Go ahead. <laughs> What's How that? unfuckable was she, Aaron? <laughs> Exceptionally unfuckable. <laughs> I, I don't know, man. Uh, I kind of like short, chubby women, so, you know, I'd hit it. <laughs> was it called At the Bar? No. <laughs> Do you have a guess? Uh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Does anybody know? Roseanne's kids. Little Rosie. Oh, Little Rosie, oh, yeah. that's right. Little Rosie is correct. Oh, man. Okay, follow up question. We're having a moment. Yeah, I know. They're, they're breaking out into discussion groups. <laughs> Wait until this seminar is over, and then we'll break into discussion groups. <laughs> Uh, Follow-up question is going to be tossed up for everybody. Uh, only one per. This is weird. Only one person from Roseanne's primetime show did a voice for the cartoon. Not even Roseanne did the voice for the cartoon. Michael Fishman, who played DJ Connor, Roseanne's son on the show, did a voice for the cartoon. What was his character on the cartoon? <laughs> what? <laughs> Levi. A goldfish? <laughs> it had made more sense. Yeah. If you just had to guess. Rosie. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm out of guesses then. Okay. Algebra. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't he have played the little DJ then? <laughs> like if Daft that's Punk? His name, or I'm leaving. Wait, is his name Lil DJ? <laughs> Are you hiding your answers there? Follow me on this. <laughs> this show, the cartoon, was based on, it was like Jim Henson's Little Roseanne Babies. It was basically, <laughs> it was basically all the characters from the TV show, but th when they were all little kids. And the kid who played DJ Connor on the live show, who was Roseanne's son, played her brother. Played DJ Dad? Connor on the cartoon. Dan? No, he played fucking DJ Connor on the cartoon. <laughs> what? It makes no <laughs> sense. <laughs> Little Rosie, who's like a what eight nine. Yeah, that. <laughs> Little Rosie, who was essentially play, uh, uh, an eight or nine, maybe ten-year-old version of Roseanne Barr in the cartoon, had her own smaller version of her future son on the show, <laughs> in the show as DJ Connor. Makes what? no <laughs> sense. This One season. <laughs> Okay. Did it take place in Texas? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Here's here's my fan explanation of it. DJ Connor was sent back <laughs> into the past <laughs> to stop his child mother from doing something that activates Skynet. Yeah. <laughs> That's the only explanation I can come up with. Come with me if you want syndication. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what's Skynet? What is that? Uh, tell him after the yeah, show. it's like iPhones and yeah, it's like a, uh, it's a cloud, it's basically. It's like a robot thing. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> I knew that was going to be a tough one. Why are we playing this game and not watching an episode of Little Rosie <laughs> right now? As soon as this is over, YouTube Little Rosie, if you can find it. I think it's. I don't think it's streaming anywhere. I, I think I'd be doing better if I was high now, because I watch all these cartoons high. 
So, does Imagine, someone want to break something out and your, let's finish this game properly? <laughs> muscle your, memory. Your, muscle it's memory. Own, it's That's your own right. Fault. It's your own fault for not pre gaming before the show. <laughs> I mean, I, I pre gamed, but I mean, I could be higher. <laughs> we took a And then I would be like, Scoobert. It's got to be Scoobert. <laughs> okay, last one on the cartoon cash grab. This major comic actor who had millions of fans from both his work in TV and movies, yet somehow never hosted SNL, landed a cartoon series called Camp Candy. Adam. John Candy. John Candy is correct. Oh. Damn. Very good. It didn't last very long either. Camp Candy. Neither did John Candy. Neither did John Aww. Candy. Aww. He's dead as shit, y'all. Way too soon. Yeah. Yeah. He's, uh, he's no longer with us. Yeah. Unfortunately, uh, he's no longer with us. But two other of John Candy's SCTV alums. When I say SCTV, do you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> yes. Second City Television? Yes. Yeah. Uh, they also had cartoons named Gravedale High and The Completely Mental Misadventures of Ed Grimley, which two SCTV members also you, had cartoons. Like you know That's in here. Ten. Um. <sighs> Tina Fey. And <laughs> 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 I'm just naming Second City. And um, John Belushi. I don't know. Okay. No. <laughs> So, so the, the one is Martin Short. Yes. And the other, what's the name of the other one? Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, what's the name of the show? No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it to you. Um, the completely mental misadventures of Ed Grimley was R Martin, Martin Short's Short. cartoon. Gravedale High. Let me stop. Let me, let me, let me give you this. All right. Gravedale High had this particular character playing himself as a high school. She knows, has a high school principal or teacher or something, and all the students were classic movie monsters. I remember this. I'm gonna. Yeah. Uh, it's not Eugene Levy. Eugene Levy. Oh, great guess, but wrong. Uh, right. Joe, well, that Joe was his Flannery? guess, so my Joe? guess is gonna be <laughs> Dave Thomas. No! But who's the other half of Dave Thomas? Rick Moranis. Rick Moranis. Wow. I got it. I got it. Damn. Yeah. Awesome. You haven't thought about that in years? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, that's. Rick Moranis has an album of Jewish cowboy songs. That's right. <laughs> wow. That's exactly right. Uh, Jewish cowboy songs. Rick, Rick Moranis. That's a paradox, right? <laughs> Jewish cowboy? That's a couple of docs. Paradox. Like, it doesn't. <laughs> oh. You got any questions about Rick and Morty? Because I've been watching the shit out of that. Get, hit me with a Rick and Morty question and let me go ahead and take yeah, this home. Yeah, I'm waiting for the Adventure Time stuff. Uh, uh, all right. My daughter's name's Marceline, so. First, first, of all, first of all, this is not going to be our only cartoon episode. Hell yeah. That's number one. Number two, we had to get the Saturday morning cartoons see, out of the way before we got into the awesomeness. All, all right. right, yep. We're your guinea pigs. Let's go. Pretty much. All right, last, uh, last round of questions in the second round. Uh, this is uh, kick him in the side. This is cartoon sidekicks. Mm. Damn. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> every time you sense the ooh, I want you to do it. And everyone else join in on the oohs. Come on. Okay. <laughs> That's some patronizing oohs. <laughs> All right, question number one, you guys. Here we go. This robot dog was Blue Falcon's sidekick. I was on tip my tongue. It's Blue Falcon and. <laughs> it's not helping. <laughs> Go. <laughs> Radar? Mm, Radar, no. Radar? Sounds like a dog's name. Sonar. No. <laughs> it was a robot dog named... Captain America. No. 
Blue Falcon and... Wow. How, you, how did you know that? <laughs> what was it? Dino Mutt. Uh, okay. I get it as a pun. The dog. It's like a dog pun. The dog wonder. <laughs> Dino Mutt, the dog wonder. So was the the robot like made of different robot species? Like it wasn't a pure breed robot. That's why it was a mutt. Like Island of Doctor Moreau. That had been dead been dead for sixty five million years. Yeah, it was like a toaster dog robot and a. <laughs> Slash Stegosaurus. Yeah, oh, I don't get it. Right? It was pieced together. Right? Yeah. We all get points for that. I think he was, a, <laughs> if you ask me, I think he was a prototype for Inspector Gadget. Mm. Think about Dynamite. Think about all the shit he could do. His head would come out on a thing and everything. And imagine Inspector Gadget. And all the stuff that would pop out of Dynamite, he could do whatever. Guns, <laughs> helicopters, whatever. It was all. It was all a prototype for Inspector Gadget. So if we didn't have that, we wouldn't have had Matthew Broderick. That's so right. <laughs> be happy. Be hey, happy with or, Dino. Or French Stewart in the sequel. <laughs> oh, was it really? Yeah, I remember that. Thanks for making me remember <laughs> French Stewart. <laughs> I was trying not to think of that person. <laughs> toss up, toss up. Follow up question: The Laugh In announcer did the voice of Blue Falcon, Space Ghost, and Roger Ramjet. Who was he? He's recently died. I love millennial contestants. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. It's all right, guys. You give us some initials. G O. Greg O. Does anybody in the audience know who Gary Owens uh. is? Mm. Yeah. Smooth school. Oh, I don't Gary, feel so bad. Nobody else. Gary knows. Owens died. Yeah. I just now learned about him. <laughs> <laughs> That's so sad. Spoiler alert. <laughs> I'm kind of okay with it. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you've had about three or four seconds to process it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just zen with what happens. Yeah. All right. He's he's dead. What's he's next? Like a leaf on the wind. All right. <laughs> Too soon. Buzz it too soon for a leap in the wind. <laughs> Before the Wonder Twins and their space monkey Gleek were part of the Super Friends, there were oh. two other non powered oh, kids and a dog on oh, the team. Fuck. Who were they? Oh. oh I can see their stupid faces. Uh, Go. White girl. And yeah. overprivileged white guy. And their dog. And there was a dog. Daphne, Fred, and Scooby? Oh. No. <laughs> Wait, there was a dog, yeah. Uh, he's... Yeah, that's not there anymore. Okay. Anybody know? I didn't know we could just give the races of the thing. <laughs> that would work. You can't. <laughs> I mean, you can, and he's right, yeah. but he's wrong at the same time. It's kind of a weird Schrodinger's answer. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, physics. Always good for a laugh. Thanks. Mm. I thought it was a dog. Oh. There is a dog. It's audience. No. Marvin and Wendy and Wonder Dog. Marvin Hamlish. <laughs> what? Uh, some of the some of the older cats in the back. No. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Holy sidekicks, Batman. Who did the voice of Robin in the Super Friends? That was Casey Kasem. That was Casey Damn. Kasem. Damn. Good job. And Robin, staunch vegetarian. <laughs> it's true. No, yeah, there was that episode where him and Batman, and he was like cramming in. They had these big sandwiches. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh man. <laughs> All righty. She was Inspector Gadget's niece. Penny. Penny is Damn. correct. Aaron with the follow up. What was the dog's name in Inspector Gadget? It was Penny's dog. Oh. 
can. Oh, fuck, shit, fuck. Good. Uh, fuck. Penny and Zero Mustel. I don't remember the name of the damn dog. No, I'm opening it up to Adam or Levi. Do you guys know the dog from Inspector Gadget? I just watched the new one. And I, I just Wikipedia'd that but <laughs> earlier. Oh, wait, I know. Shit. Do you really? Yeah, can I go ahead and do it? Yeah. It's Brain, right? Yes. Yeah. Oh. What is it? Brain. Brain? It's brain. Brain. <laughs> dog is named Kidneys. Ah, <laughs> hmm. oh, man, that was... Did you guys feel that? Yeah. You guys knew that, right? So, oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> I was right there with you. <laughs> Question number four. You never saw his face under the scarf and hat, and he generally was pretty useless to He-Man in every way possible. Who oh. is he? Aaron. Orko. Orko is correct. Yeah. I surprised myself. <laughs> Aaron and Aaron only, unless you get it wrong, what was He-Man's kitty cat's name? Aw, wasn't it Cringer? It was. Aww. Yeah. And when he turned into He-Man, what was he called? The uh, Battle Cat. Battle Cat is also correct. Uh, by, by the way, that show was stupid. <laughs> was real stupid. They're totally remaking a He-Man movie. Yeah. Are they really? Universe. Yeah. Who's He-Man? Huh? Have they cast He-Man? I don't know, but uh, the original Masters of the Universe movie with Dolph Lundgren streaming on Netflix right now, and uh, that's pretty awful too. I like it. It's good for a laugh. Yeah. No, you're not wrong. If you watch it with enough perspective, <laughs> you, you know what I'm. <laughs> this perspective. For the, all, I'm at, all I'm saying. It's perspective. Is perspective. Because some of us smoke out of bowls. Oh, that's true. And perspective. <laughs> or bongs. I have a bong sound effect if we wanted to bring that out. I'm not gonna. Thank you. <laughs> All right, last question of the second round, you guys, and we're going to tally up the scores, and we're going to go into barrel into the third round. Here we go. <laughs> Who is universally panned as the worst cartoon sidekick ever and with Scooby-Doo's usually... You, uh, <laughs> Levi. Scrappy-Doo. Scrappy-Doo uh, is correct. Good job. Scooby-Doo's utterly useless and annoying nephew, Scrappy-Doo. Levi with the follow-up. We got some Scrappy fans in here. Is that what's going on? <laughs> I'm indifferent. Oh <laughs> Scooby-Dumb was pretty useless. <laughs> Scooby-Dumb was at least contributing to the story. He was, uh, he was helping to get along. He wasn't in the way or getting captured or anything like that. Scooby Dumb actually was awesome because he made Shaggy and Scooby seem like geniuses. <laughs> <laughs> Levi, your follow-up question. Sure. Say one of the three Scrappy-Doo catchphrases. Um, the audience is I know, I can... shitting their pants right now. I know his voice. I can do the voice in my head. Um, is, it, is one of them Scooby Snacks related? Probably not. Uh, I'm going to make it harder for you to think by ho holding my hand over this like this. Okay. Um, Cause I know this. Let me just think. Uh, oh no, Scooby! <laughs> Use the Viagra, Scooby. <laughs> yeah, use the Viagra was uh, was the biggest catchphrase. That's In crappy dude. Interspecial dating's okay, Scooby. <laughs> Of course, none of those are correct. <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm opening it up. Ah, uh, puppy power. Puppy power is correct. 
Levi mean, Bauer is correct. Yeah, it was so it was so stupid, Levi. What were the other two? Scrappy Debbie Do is one. Let me at him, let me at him. Oh, yeah. Let me at him. <laughs> which which I guess could be take some Viagra and let me yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if maybe if Scrappy Dude had, had a giant raging erection, that would have been actually good TV. I mean, come on, it couldn't have been any worse than it was. It went pretty it went pretty downhill when uh, Scrappy Dude showed up, but I don't necessarily think. Well, who whose erection? Isn't that always the question? Yeah, that's always the question. I was gonna say I don't think it would work, but then I was like, well, it depends on whose erection it is. Uh, yeah, yeah. Charlton uh, Heston. We'll go with Fred. Fred? We'll go with Fred. You think Fred's got a clue? <laughs> <laughs> no. Got a clue? I, I don't know. Business. I'm just that trying to make sure this thing goes really off the rails as much yeah. as we can. Uh, okay. Well, no, I'm not going to let that happen because I'm an amazing host. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to tally up the scores from the second round and add them up to your first round scores. Aaron, you got one, two, three, four. Four, five, six, seven Damn. points on the second round. Wow. All the shit talk that you're doing, and you're up to 14 points. Yeah. Uh, Adam, you have... It's less than 14. Two. It's, it's 13. That's where I'm at. You have two <laughs> in the second round, and that will give you nine points hey, total. That'll work. That'll work. Thank you. No, I'm sorry. That gives you five points total. Shit. <laughs> I was looking at Levi. That's the gift that keeps on taking. Just cut that out. Edit that out. It's a tax on these points? What's going on? This one, I answered. Point tax? What? <laughs> Stupid government. And Levi, Levi, you have ten points. Nice. Good job. Aaron with 14, Levi with 10. Did I say 10? Yeah. And uh, Adam with Nine. 5. Nine. <laughs> <laughs> we go into the final round. The strain. <laughs> These are marijuana strains. Oh, I love this round. I love it. I love it. Go, let's go. These are marijuana strains that are tenuously named after the subject of our show tonight, which is cartoons. Uh, one of them is fake, one of them is real. There are three sets, no buzzers. I'm going to give you all three sets. Each one is worth two points. So there are five here for each of you. So potentially you could get. Ten more points, thus. <laughs> oh, I know. I see you, what you, you could be. It could be the biggest <laughs> coming from. Too bad I'm <laughs> hanging out with Pothead Aaron over here. <laughs> I do my. I do my research. <laughs> well, it's a fifty-fifty shot on each one, even if you don't know. I'm like an under. Sorry, Matt. I've never smoked pot. Mom. You'll probably win. <laughs> um, Aaron, we'll start with you. All right. It's and you're. Ready to go. I mean, this. I'm probably not going to know him, but go ahead. Who knows? Okay. Which one is the real strain of marijuana? Number one, is it cabbage patch or garbage pail? Cabbage patch. Correct. <laughs> Disney red or Disney blue? Me? Yeah. You oh, get shit. five of these. Disney Red? Incorrect. It's Disney Blue. Yeah. I'm not good on Disney. Disney blows. <laughs> that strain, not good? I don't know. I mean, I'd smoke it. <laughs> but it would, it would suck. Do, do they, does that strain only come out every seven years? <laughs> yeah, it's moratorium. Yes, the moratorium it strain. Out of the right. Vault. Yeah. Right. A bunch of housewives buy it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> number number three for you, uh, Mr. Sarlo. Uh, strawberry cheesecake or strawberry shortcake? I don't fucking know. Uh, 
Strawberry shortcake. Incorrect. <laughs> strawberry cheesecake is the real strain of marijuana. Grape ape or jabber jaws? Grape ape. Grape ape is correct. <laughs> I've had that one. I yeah. know I've had that one. You get jabber jaws after you smoke it. <laughs> <laughs> and then you eat up all the strawberry cheesecake. <laughs> And uh, Aaron, your last one is Boo Boo Diesel or Yogi Diesel? <laughs> Boo Boo Diesel? No, it's God Yogi Diesel. Fuck shit. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Yogi Diesel, whatever. Yogi Diesel, all right. So you end the show, Mr. Sarlo, with 16 points. Thank you. Thank you Yay. Levi, yeah. you're set. All right. Hmm. Dark Star or Brave Star? Dark Star. Correct. Dark Star is correct. I smoked that too. <laughs> <laughs> Which one of these two is real, Levi? Mini Kush or Mickey Kush? Mini Kush. Incorrect is Mickey Kush. Really? It's not as good of a name. No, it isn't. <laughs> Mr. Magoo or Blue Magoo? <laughs> Blue Magoo. Blue Magoo is correct. <laughs> Two more for you, Levi. Yankee Poodle or Danky Doodle? <laughs> Got to go with Danky Doodle. Danky Doodle is correct. Yeah. I didn't know you were such a stoner. <laughs> I just know how to label pot for some <laughs> reason. I just know what works for the street. He just sells it. That's all. Yeah. It. all right. I market weed. <laughs> Levi, last one. Ghost Bubba or Ghost Busta? Ghost Busta. Nope. Ghost Damn. Bubba. It needs Ghost to be. Bubba. Either way, good. I'm not afraid of those ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Levi, that gives you six more points. Tie. Oh, oh, shit. We're going to have to have a weed off. <laughs> I, I was going to say kiss off, but uh, okay. You get me high enough, we can have that kiss off. Sure. I've got some Bubba Bubba Kush, whatever the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Bubba Yogi Gum Diesel. Kush. Adam, mm -hmm. we're gonna go ahead and ask you yours, but <laughs> if I get all five, ma mathematically, even if you get all five, oh. you still lose. How many points do I have? Oh, I only have five. five. <laughs> but what if he has those nine points that you gave him? Yeah. <laughs> we'll say five to nine. How about that? Let's just see how well I do. And Let's just say. Okay. Let's just Hold on. Say. May I suggest, if he gets all five, let's just call it a three-way tie, <laughs> and let's go into sudden death. All right. There you go. You, he said it. Make it up me. rules as we go, y'all. That's how we do it. That's how we roll. Right. You hear that? Now you got to get all five, or they're all going to cry. Yeah. Well. <laughs> can the, uh, sudden, can the sudden death be a drug test? <laughs> <laughs> Levi wins. <laughs> if you mean who, this is kind of a drug test, but um, <laughs> very true. Right? It is, yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay. All right, uh, you ready? Just throw them to me. I just want to hear the names. Really. I want you to answer these oh, man. with the amount of <laughs> enthusiasm that you think you can win. Sure. I mean, I'm going to win. So. <laughs> I'm going to win. Okay. You ready? Tasmanian devil or devil fruit? Tasmanian devil. Wrong. Oh. <laughs> Wait, what's just, the devil's fruit? Yeah. Will you just stop? It sounds right like now? ball sack. It sounds like a ball sack. Well, I've never had it, but I bet it's awesome. For the re for the, le re the left the leftovers there, just yeah. make some up. <laughs> just make some up. Well, I did make up half of these. Like Robin hey, Williams' arm really hair, <laughs> or <laughs> which would probably get you really baked. Yeah. Ka Casey Kasem's baloney. <laughs> yeah, which one, Adam? Which one's the real one? 
Always Casey Kasem. Uh, <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Shit makes you forget. Scooby Snacks or Popeye's Spinach? This is stuff you eat after you smoke this. <laughs> Popeye's Spinach, I like that. I like it too, but it's, it's wrong. wrong. Of it's course Scooby it is. Snacks. I answered it. Of course it's wrong. <laughs> Adam, Jesus. Adam, here we go. Just slow down, breathe. <laughs> Things you could have told me before the show. <laughs> <laughs> Cookie Monster or Super Grover? <laughs> vote? You want to vote? Super Grover? No, it's wrong. It's Cookie Monster. <laughs> Who buys Cookie your Monster? weed? <laughs> Aaron. <laughs> Maybe I should start buying your weed. I want Super Grover to be a strain of weed, though. <laughs> I think so I'm Scooby a, is a... Okay. Because you feel like you were near <laughs> far. <laughs> <laughs> That's off the dome, ladies and gentlemen. I didn't write that shit. <laughs> It's called wit. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Hogg, double dragon or double dutch? Double dragon. God damn, no! <laughs> <laughs> it's all the tough ones are not the weed. Double dutch, double dragon, man. Double dutch is a double dragon should be one. <laughs> <sighs> all right, let's do one more. The, the last one because fuck it. Fuck it. Let's see if I can go over five. Power plant. Or power puff. <laughs> <laughs> power puff. No! You're tricking me. This is called brain trick. Uh, That's amazing. That's amazing. <laughs> Fully all five of them. Uh, yeah. Thank you. He we'll see that extra, being repeated. He should get extra points for getting all five wrong. Thank you. He should get like one. However many points to make him be a three-way tie. I don't reward failure in this room. <laughs> it's not failure. He achieved getting them all wrong. You're right. We didn't do that. Yeah. We couldn't do that. <laughs> you, you absolutely could not. I'm not good. <laughs> Are y'all saying I did bad? What is? What's going on? I'm in your corner, man. I'm in your corner. Um, there was another Twitter shout out, and this was also going to be my tiebreaker. It's going to be a bidding situation on the tiebreaker, <laughs> but uh, I and I and I meant to get this Twitter um, uh, account shout out before this far into the show, but I didn't. <laughs> um, because we had a, uh, speaking of cartoons, uh, we had uh, weeks ago uh, this uh, uh, guy, all the, the entire production company of this Australian uh, cartoon, which is going to be uh, coming out very soon, or it's made in Australia, uh, at Agent Nigel, <laughs> at Agent Nigel, <laughs> this Australian, very cool, and I've seen clips of it, they kind of showed me some clips of it and whatever but at Agent Nigel on Twitter be sure and look it up and follow it um, this is a shout out to you guys uh, Australian animated series aimed at young adults comedy show packed with funny and satiric adventures make you root for losers just like Adam Hawk I could get behind it I like that <laughs> hey I've been rooting for myself for years so I know they're a brand new Twitter account. This is a brand new cartoon. I need your bid. This is the tiebreaker. Re remember, this is a brand new situation here. Um, how many followers does the at Agent Nigel Twitter account have so far in their in their very brief flicker of light they have in the Twitter verse? Right now, Aaron Sarlo. Oh, I don't get. Why do I gotta go first? Ah, damn it, dude! Because you're closer. <laughs> well, okay. How how recent is it? Do I get, uh, do I get to know? Uh, I don't know when they uh, started it, but uh, I don't know. It's been going on for a few months. And there's like like a hundred thousand people in Australia tops, right? <laughs> 
<laughs> like tops, including Tasmania and the lesser Australias. I, yeah, yes. <laughs> I don't know if the I don't know if the uh, the Kiwis and the Tasmanians count as if they're filming another one of those Hobbit movies. It's probably double that right now. Yeah. Uh, they've been they've been going on for uh, they've been uh, tweeting for at least well since Brain Trust started, so at least uh, a month or so. But uh, they have they have got tweets going as far back as June, uh, but not any I don't think before. What, what network are they affiliated? They with? are not yet okay. affiliated with a network. They are about to sell their show. Like what I'm saying, they're brand new. They're out of Australia. They started following Brain Trust out of the blue, which I'm fucking happy about and I told them I would be giving them a shout out this is the best shout out I can give them because this is the tiebreaker question Age at Agent Nigel brand new out of Sydney, New South Wales in Australia. I'm, I'm going to go 2500 2500 Levi mm. come closer without going over Okay. Cause uh. I, and do it because I don't know if I can come up with a new <laughs> one to do to break the tie. Um, I'm going to go with 615. You both went over. Whoa. <laughs> they have 272 $1. followers. Oh. 272. That's how fucking new they are. Okay. <laughs> There's another word besides new that springs to mind. <laughs> Uh, bad? No, I didn't. <laughs> That's in your bu mind, buddy. I don't know. I'm, I, I, I've seen. I was I, going with nascent. Nascent? <laughs> no, nah, I was going to go with something rude. No, nah, not yeah. so. No, actually, it's a really good cartoon, and I hope they get it off the ground uh, and uh, get going. They've already got several episodes in the can. And uh, if you need a voice guy, <laughs> uh, I can help with that. Uh, well, shit, guys. Uh, let's just go with Brain Trust's Twitter account. How many followers does this show have so far at Brain Trust Show on Twitter? And if you sons of bitches in this crowd aren't being my followers, what are you too good for Twitter? It's okay to, it was good enough to take down the Egyptian government, but it's not good enough for you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Politics jokes. It's right up my alley. How uh, many followers does Brain Trust have? And we are even newer at the, in the Twitter than you guys are. And is that a hint? It, yeah. I'm going to go with 150. Okay. Levi? I'm going to say 60 followers. The winner of the third episode of Brain Trust. I was bald the whole time. That's right. That's right. As of now, we have 163 followers on Twitter. 150 was a great guess. Congratulations, Aaron. Who were you playing for? Mark. My buddy Mark right there. We win, Mark! This for you, Mark. Mark, you, Mark, you get the big prize bag when we're all done. Thank you, everybody, for coming out to the uh, the third episode of Brain Trust. I love you, Mark. I love you in a powerful, profound way. I want you to exfoliate. Be sure and subscribe. Be sure and tell your friends. Be sure and share this video with everyone you know. Uh, spread it around everywhere as you can like a virus, like a zombie plague. Spread this everywhere. I'm on behalf of Imagine Games and Hobbies, I'd like to thank my crew. Yeah. I would like to thank Aaron Sarlo, Levi A.G., and Adam Hogg for being fantastic contestants. Thank you guys for all coming out. Give yourselves a big round of applause. Do we get to do plugs? Oh yeah, let's do some plugs. He asked, so go ahead. I, I don't have anything. No, um, <laughs> there's a Juanita's show. I'm not on, but uh, Randy Lidke, 
uh, is coming to Juanita's, and a couple of local comedians uh, are doing, I think, pretty soon. But uh, just search Facebook, follow Hogging the Mic, which is Adam's comedy brand, um, and they'll have details for that show. Um, and then also, if you want, follow me on Twitter at Levi Film. I do a lot of pithy 140 character stuff, so that's all fun and games. Um, and then I want to plug some TV shows that I like to watch. <laughs> Um, Fargo season two is coming out pretty soon. Fair it's enough. a pretty badass show. Um, and uh, I'm getting into this Scandinavian show called Borgen that's really, really good. I heard about Borgen. Borgen. All right. It's badass. The good yeah. folks of NPR told me about Borgen. It's really, really good. Right. I watch Borgen Hunters. I don't know if that's similar. This is like f- female politician show. But oh, maybe it's Bargain Hunters. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> <laughs> I was so dad jokey. <laughs> Real bad dad jokey. Uh, Aaron, you want to get anything you want coming up that you want to plug? I do. Go for it. My band Duxtronaut is playing Legends of Arkansas Saturday. Coming up, 6 o'clock. Go see that. It's awesome. at the Riverfront Park. It is free. And my other band, The Dangerous Idiots, is playing the Whitewater Tavern on Saturday, September 20- no, Friday, September 25th. Fantastic. And I'm not wearing pants. I want the world to know I'm not, I was not wearing pants this whole time. Bald and not wearing pants. Bald in many ways. So the, the, the ceiling matches the flooring. <laughs> yeah. Adam. Adam. Are you speechless? Yes. I'm speechless now. Uh, I just want to give out a shout to Borgen, the the, the show that you wanted to watch. Right. I'm going to watch it. I just want to watch it. Uh, and then I will plead Levi to do stand-up comedy again because he I, quit. I will second that. You son of a bitch. You got a Colin vs. Adam show coming up, right? I, I do. We're playing on Saturday at the Legends as, as well. Legends cool. of Arts yeah. Festival. I don't know why they called it that. It's like, hey, have you These sold over 50 started. copies? Come on over. <laughs> also, you got the hogging the mic every week. Yeah, every Tuesday. Stay at the uh, joint, which is uh, which is where Mark's going to go for the next road. ten Tuesdays That's for right. free. <laughs> oh, whenever you want. Awesome. All right, uh, and uh, I've got brain trust. <laughs> when's, yeah. when's the next Brain Trust? Do you know you're th- already watching, and the next one. Oh, that's a great question. I should probably plug my own shit, huh? <laughs> um, I did not like that sentence. <laughs> <laughs> don't say that again. I, I don't. I don't think I've ever uttered those words. Yeah, you walked in, right into. Sure, that. you haven't. In that. Uh, in that order. Hey, Mark, can he borrow that loofah? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the next Brain Trust live audience recording will be in Memphis, Tennessee at Chase the Vape in Memphis on September 28th. Uh, our uh, comedians are going to be announced when the flyer comes out. <laughs> I know who's going to be in it, and by the time you see this, you probably will too. All right. So, on behalf of Imagine Games and Hobbies, our sponsor and venue, I'd like to thank Aaron Sarlo, Levi Ag, and Adam Hogg. Uh, please subscribe to everything follow them thank you guys for coming out that's it hey thanks for listening to uh, that brain trust classic that was really really cool love that show that show's great Um, Be sure and give us a like and a review and a good rating and all that good stuff uh, on whatever platform that you listened to this on and share it with your friends. And we'll see you at our next Brain Trust with Michael Brown live show coming up in February of 2018. So, yay. Bye.